welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. One of my favourite videos to film is of course a Primark haul. I popped into the Trafford Centre recently and the Primark there is really good. I absolutely love it. It's got the wellness section which is very me. I love the kind of muted tones and the different textures. I did actually do a full Instagram reel of in-store, loads of different finds if you wanted to head over and see what was in store. Let me know if you want me to do more of those kind of in store reels over on Instagram. So I'm going to start by showing you all the kind of miscellaneous homeware bits. So if you're not interested in that, then skip forward to the fashion try on bit. But for now, let's delve into this big bag full of bits from Primark Home. They do seem to have really upped their homeware game recently. I feel like they've incorporated a lot more variety within their homeware. Look at this aesthetic in this packaging. It's just beautiful. If you remember the last Primark haul that I did, I actually picked up some pampas grass that Primark have in as well, which is amazing. So anyway, this reed diffuser is in fresh linen, lasts up to eight weeks. It was only £2.50 and I just love this packaging. I'm so drawn in by that, but also I do love a fresh linen scent in a bedroom. So I'll probably put this in here for now. I also found this oil burner, which I loved the color of this ceramic. If I come in a bit closer, you can see there the tone of it. It's a really nice kind of beige neutral tone. It does come with a little tea light as well, which is brilliant. And then the little dish that sits on top, you just pop in some oil, wax melt, whatever you fancy. But I just love, I mean, that looks like it's from like Zara Home. I absolutely loved that. It was only £4.50. I also spotted these little sachets they are little room sachets that you can put wherever you fancy whether it be in a wardrobe a drawer gym bag or just in a room hanging up so this one is in eucalyptus and mint and it's really like pretty in design i would definitely have this hanging out on display it's got little bits of like pampas in it it's kind of like a potpourri bag with dried flowers and this was £1.50. If you're a regular watcher, you'll know that I often do White Company dupes videos. I'm a big fan and a big lover of the White Company. And they have these in store, which actually a few of you have sent me pictures of saying, you need to get these as a little White Company dupe because they are little heart-shaped tea lights. If you know the White Company, you'll know that they do the Seychelles scent in the little heart tea lights. And these were only £1.50 for a set of six, which I think is fab and these are in the scent clean cotton they had loads of stationary bits new and stationary that i'd never seen before including a paint by numbers they had a couple of different designs i obviously opted for the one with dogs on it and uh, yeah i just think this is so fun if you like me on the odd occasion like a little crafty sunday afternoon then uh, a paint by numbers is always a good like fun thing to do especially like when the sun's out maybe outside to just ha i mean it'll dry super quick if you do it outside so um it comes with the canvas 12 paints and paintbrush includes a practice sheet as well and that is the image that i went for this was only two pounds they also had these gorgeous scrapbooks very simple in design in that it's just a plain black ring binded scrapbook and it has a little ribbon bow as well on the side this was two pound fifty and it's just plain pages i'll just show you the inside plain paper so that you can stick some like washi tape some i don't know fun little memory book stickers tickets um, fun events that you've been to that kind of thing and then they also had these coloring books these were only a pound and again the design on the front is just very simple neutral and they've really nailed it with their branding and their packaging for this range because it's quite classy and sophisticated it's not too like childlike it's definitely more of like the adult color therapy like mindfulness practice and yeah, there's just loads of different floral patterns and things that you can get stuck into and coloring. So I picked up that for a pound. And then these also went with it. These are a, a little tube of coloring pencils. These were two pounds. And then the actual pencils themselves are just plain brown. So very simple again. Really nice variety of colors there. And again, just something to pair with the coloring book. It would make a great little gift idea. And it's literally three quid. But they also had this set of coloring pencils, which I thought I would get as well. These ones were three pound 50, a little pricier, but you get 12 watercolor pencils and eight sketching pencils as well. So it's an artist pencil starter set. It comes in a little tin as well. Then the last of the stationary bits that I picked up is this 
weekly planner it's in a gorgeous beige color it's actually a linen so it's a really nice texture really nice finish it's got a beautiful kind of sketch illustration of eucalyptus on the front which just says live simply weekly planner in gold foil there so that is what you can expect from every single page it's just a weekly planner the fact that it's not dated as well gives you the flexibility to like pick and choose as and when you want to use this just a really nice weekly planner this was five pound fifty they do also have a pet section within primark at the trafford center so i picked up this for barney he's our little barney bear so i saw this little bear pet toy it feels like it's going to be really durable which is definitely what i look for in a toy now Having a golden retriever puppy who is six months old, I fast realized how their main aim in life is to destroy the toy. So this was four pounds. I think it's got a squeaker in it as well. It does, I'm not gonna squeak it just in case I wake up all your dogs. And I picked up this bikini bag. This wasn't actually in the homeware section. This was near the swimwear. I just thought it was a really practical purchase. So it's kind of like a frosted uh, finish to it. And on the front, it just has embossed bikini bag. And it's beautiful kind of pinky nude shade that you literally just can throw this in your bag if you're having a beach day, if you're going away on holiday. This was £2. A couple of bits from the beauty section as well that I picked up before moving on to fashion. Firstly, this towel hair turban at £2. I always use these after getting out of the shower. I always just find my hair actually stays put in one of these as opposed to like a big towel that you throw it on back on the top of your head. It always ends up like coming out. So I always use these towel Howl towel hair turbans. I found these from the PS Naturals. They're 10 reusable cleansing pads made with 73% bamboo and 20% cotton. All part of the Primark Cares in that they are like moving towards sustainability. There's 10 little reusable cotton pads that look like so. And then I also got a little um, hand gel, hand sanitizer to put by the front door or in the kitchen or something three pound fifty this one was and it's called the calming hair gel so it is scented orange blossom chamomile flower fragranced with a blend of essential oils and it also has hyaluronic acid in it which i think is good for anti-aging and then last but not least from the beauty section at two pounds i picked up this makeup brush cleansing spray or cleaning spray i should say and it just is great for like in between washes i would use this as like a temporary fix with some like spritz it onto the brush and then swirl it on like some tissue paper and um that's kind of like an in-between a thorough makeup brush wash that I like to use my Style Pro brush cleanser with. Okay, moving on to fashion. I'm gonna just move the camera back a little bit so we can stand up and do some try-ons of all the bits that I have picked up. So the first item that I will show you is this blazer. It's kind of like in a linen blend fabric. It was £23, which for Primark for a blazer, I'd say is fairly average nowadays. I did get a 16. There are matching items available. I'm assuming they will be trousers, but I didn't see them. I decided to get this in a 16 to have a more looser, oversized fit that I can maybe just throw over the shoulders with a little white dress on underneath, a bit like this one that I'm wearing from Zara. So yeah, I love the kind of look of this, the colour of it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit itchy, which I didn't really think of when I picked it up. But if I'm wearing bare arms underneath, actually it's not too bad, it's not too bad. It's not the softest of fabrics. I love the length of it in a 16, I'm really happy with that one. I did actually pick up this hat from the menswear at six pounds. It's very summery vibes with it being kind of like pinstripe beige and white. Six pounds this one was and it's 100% cotton. I need to tighten it up a bit. But I've been wearing these sort of hats on dog walks a lot lately and I thought I would pick up this design because I don't own anything like it and I just thought it was super cute. You'd be pleased to know I actually have quite a bit of colour going on within this. I've just unpacked the bags and there's lots of greens. Um, I just thought I'd share with you these accessories first before I do the try on clips of the other items. So I picked up this pack of three reusable face coverings in cotton and they're just £2.50. The fact that they're just simple white. I tend to wear these like as a one-time thing because makeup on white doesn't go well but I love the look of it. So I picked them up and then I also picked up these pack of seven £2.50 little kind of trainer socks that I wear with um, 
trainers, believe it or not. And then lastly, this pack of three scrunchies at only two pounds. Love the color combination, especially this cream one at the top. And then there's like a little beige gingham and a beautiful kind of dusky rose color as well. And only two pounds. Bargain. Let's try on some dresses, shall we? So I've got this one. I said expect a bit of colour. So this one actually has blue and greens in it, which is really summery, really spring summer, I want to say. This is in a 12, I picked this one up at £13. I love the kind of square neck design, the frilly sleeves, and the fabric of this is beautiful. It's really, really nice. Um, double lined as well, so you know it's not going to be sheer. Um, pretty mini dress so let's try this one on i am in love with this dress this is exactly what i look for in a summer's dress in the heat i just want loose floaty comfortable i am glad i sized up to a 12 i say sized up i'm like a 10 to 12 i suppose um because i do prefer things a bit more looser fit on me and these sleeves are adorable i love the square neckline the little frilly details the pattern is very subtle especially for someone like me that isn't like um the most colorful person shall we say i do like the neutrals but this is a really pretty kind of toned down floral design so I love it. I love the fact that it's double layered as well. I did catch the sun a little bit yesterday, so I'm looking a bit rosy on this side in particular. Let's try on the next item. So yet again, another dress. I have this time sized up to a 14 and we also have a bit more color. So this is a really pretty sage green color. This was 13 pounds for this dress and it has a really pretty kind of, again, a bit more toned down floral design. There's not loads of color going on, it's just the sage green and the little floral bits are white with little black dots in. So let's try it on. Yet another one that I'm obsessed with. I really, really like, again, how floaty and loose and lightweight it is. This one is a slightly thinner fabric, but obviously because of the color and everything, it's definitely not sheer. And there's also a detail element that I quite like here on the neckline this little button here to allow a little keyhole cutout detail i think is meant to go at the front typically this does go on like the back of a dress but all the labels and everything are at the other side so i'm assuming this does go at the front and what i quite like to do is undo it and tuck it in so it's more of a v-neckline that's how i think i would wear it personally the sleeves as well even though they're gathered and stretchy here they're not tight at all so you could kind of do them up a little bit. I love the fact that they're not tight and restrictive because sometimes, again, that's too uncomfortable. When it's hot, I just want to feel like I've got nothing on me. That's honestly how I feel when it's hot. And a bit of colour. What do we think, guys? I'm really happy with it. Love this one. Okay, moving on. Another dress. They only had 18s and 20s left. So I decided to pick it up and see if I can make it work. At £15, I love the colour of this one. This is obviously more me in that it's beige and white with a little kind of striped design. Really nice, kind of lightweight, again, linen-y fabric. And it's like a tiered smock. So again, very kind of similar to this one in that it's just so comfortable. Okay, so dress number three we have here. This is definitely a little too big for me maybe i mean it works because it is that kind of like oversized fit anyway you could kind of do up the sleeves like that just so they're a bit higher up on your arms i do think it works it just means that it's slightly longer line on me which isn't the worst thing i don't mind like a midi dress or like just below the knee dress so this would be perfect on holiday as a beach dress or like a day dress that you could just go to browse the shops in that kind of thing again summer vibes when it's nice and warm you will maybe want to be covered it's not double lined so you can kind of see the outline of my underwear so i've got white but you would probably have to wear nude underwear and then you'd be fine so yeah i'm not as like obsessed with it as the other ones but i do love the fact that adding to my collection of these kind of dresses that i absolutely live in and the other day I was thinking I definitely need more of when it was particularly warm. I'm definitely going to keep it. Next up we have a true white dress this one is. And it's in a, like a shirt fabric. It feels like a shirt. And it's a bit of a like puffy sleeved 
off shoulder and I did have to get a 14 again they were out of stock in the smaller sizes but 13 pounds this one was I feel like I need your opinion on this dress your honest opinion I'm unsure if it looks a bit cheap I don't know I don't know maybe it's because of the material it's that kind of like noisy shirt material but anyway i do really like the neckline the fact that you can wear it off shoulder you can pull it up and also one thing i was worried about the sleeves it's definitely not too tight so i'm happy with that i don't know if it would bother me a bit like because it's um that kind of a fit here up top where i don't know if it, i'd be fiddling around with like pulling it up and i don't know if it would bug me so that's the only thing with this one i'm not sure let me know what you think Okay, the last dress that I have to try on now is in a 12, 13 pounds. This was in the sale from 13 down to five. So a beautiful cream strappy dress. These have adjustable straps as well, which is great. And again, it's that kind of three tiered smock style dress, although it doesn't feel as floaty this one. Waving it down he's in the garden. Okay, yeah, this is exactly as I expected. Just a very simple five pound dress that's just gonna be a great throw on for just pottering around in the garden, in and out the house when it's a nice hot summer's day. Yay, happy, right, okay. Next, let's try on this. I'm just gonna show you this. It's actually intended as like beachwear and it was by the beachwear. So this is a like sheer, white shirt so i don't have swimwear to show you but i'll obviously just show you maybe over the top of this i did get a size extra large eight pounds i feel like when you're wanting a beach cover all you just want it to be big and baggy and loose so the fact that i got the biggest size is just like so okay i definitely would not wear it like this but anyway yeah just a nice loose floaty White just got the little button up there that if you did want to roll it up slightly. Nice white swimsuit under this would be beautiful. This was from the wellness section and it is six pounds. I got it in a medium and it has the little removable pads in the cups, which I probably would take out. But it's a gorgeous thick rib. Like so thick this one and supportive. I also picked up a pair of cycle shorts. These are just a great basic to have. £2.50. So I'll try these ones on together. Okay, love the top to this, but the shorts are actually a bit too big for me. They're kind of like gape at the back. So I definitely needed a small in these shorts, which is kind of annoying because you know, like if you've only got one thing to take back and it's just a £2.50 item, it's almost not worth it. <laughs> Which is so lazy of me, I know, but I'm sure someone out there can relate to me there. It's like if you're um, in the shop in itself and you're only wanting to buy like one dress or something, but the queue is massive, it's just like not worth it. So anyway, they had these shorts in black as well though, so I, I might go back and switch these out for a small. Made using recycled plastic, eight pounds. I got these ones in a small, so 10 to 12, so hopefully these ones will fit a bit better. And they're kind of like a tie-dye with that sage green, but also the white, so I feel like they'd look quite nice with, um, with this top. So let's try these ones on. Okay, on, I feel like they are maybe a little out there for me with the whole tie-dye print, but they do fit really nice. They're definitely better fitted around my waist, which is much better. Cute little kind of workout outfit, work from home, pottering around. I think I'm more likely to wear one of the dresses if I'm just pottering around the garden, to be honest with you. I have this to show you, which isn't exactly the easiest to show you with what I've got on, but I will do anyway. It's a little tie waist linen, not linen, like organic cotton uh, dressing gown, which is perfect for the summer. So I only have like a real fluffy one from the um, from lounge underwear. So I thought I would pick this one up just as an alternative to have. That's got shorter sleeves as well, which is lovely. And again, just for the summer months to have a lighter white dressing gown is ideal so i really like this one it's kind of like a linen-y even though it's organic cotton it does kind of feel like linen really nice happy with this one it's got pockets as well which is always an added bonus where's the other one there is and did i say how much this one was 12 pounds in a medium 12 to 14 i got this one in okay last up i have two tops to show you but i don't have any other bottoms so i'm just going to leave this on for the purpose of 
filming but please ignore this because i wouldn't wear them together these are uh, this top i pair with like some denim shorts and um, in fact maybe this one as well this one was actually in the sale it's like a padded shoulder one they had them in gray and black as well i went for the chocolate brown and they were from 10 pounds down to three so i thought i would pick that one up and then also this one has a little crossover cute little back design which i thought was so pretty with the bow at the bottom and this was 11 pounds i did get a size 12 in this i don't know why i'm showing you them both together let's try this one on first it is actually quite dramatic the shoulders on this one um and yeah jeans is what i would sort of wear with this even like into autumn with it being that kind of brownie um kind of burnt tone with like leather pants maybe Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this was a bit fiddly to get into with the button detail at the top. You can see it's kind of like a crossover button and then the bow is really, really pretty. Very milkmaid style, very girly. I do really like the idea of this, but you can see that white cropped up so easily through it that I can't imagine how I'm gonna make this work in terms of what I would wear under it. So I think I'm gonna return this one. I mean, it is gorgeous, it is really pretty. But do you see what I mean? I just don't like how sheer it is. So that's the only thing with this. So anyway, that is everything that I picked up this time around from Primark. Let me know which was some of your faves. I'm definitely going to wear the green dress today. I'm so excited. Um, like the one with the longer sleeves. Can't wait. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe for more. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.